Nothing says simple elegance like the four in hand knot, right? It's for point collar shirts that don't have as much surface area in between it as say a spread collar shirt would. This is something that's going to be, that you're gonna use almost on a daily basis if you're wearing these types of shirts. It's a simple knot, let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into that foreign hand knot. First, we wanna take in my dominant hand, my right hand, we wanna take the fat end, and we wanna pull that down until the short end is about two, two and a half buttons down, all right? We wanna take this, we wanna cross it over once, put the fat end over top. We wanna cross the fat end over again So now I've just basically wrapped it around twice. We want to put our finger on the wrap, the second wrap. Okay. And then we want to run the fat end underneath and through the hole and take that fat end and put it through that hole right there. Easy peasy, right? And now it's about adjustment. You pull down on the fat end to tighten it. You pull down on the skinny end and push up on the knot to bring it up to your neck. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this is an asymmetrical knot. So you have to be comfortable with that. But most people are. So you bring that up. And now, when you bring your shirt down, It covers up. Huh. It covers up that hole. Right there. <laughs> Tough to do this in reverse. Okay, there we go covers up that hole and it gets in there. Easy peasy, nice and easy. Fills up this area, but it doesn't try and destroy it like a full Windsor would do or a, hat or a double Windsor would do. A double Windsor would just take up way too much of the space. If you wanna learn how to do a double Windsor for spread collars, we got a video, it's one of these, right here. So that's the four in hand. <laughs> 